Wagwan, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the real Jamaican bread pudding. So in the container is half cup of brown sugar. I added a cup of breadcrumbs and another cup of breadcrumbs. So the total amount of breadcrumbs is two cups. And I added half cup of all-purpose flour. To that, I am adding quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon baking powder, and about two teaspoons mixed spice. Mixed spice is basically cinnamon powder, star anise, and some other spices blended together. And then I am adding about half teaspoon of grated nutmeg. Then I'm going to give it a good stir just to make sure that all the ingredients combine together very well. So now I'm adding two cups of coconut milk and of course that will need more, more coconut milk. The total amount of coconut milk that I use um, was four cups almost four cups three cups and a lot almost four cups right so gonna mix it with the coconut milk yeah man so as you see i am adding another two cups of coconut milk right and as you can see i'm mixing very well now this is the bread pudding that i grew up eating this is the real jamaican bread pudding right yeah man so as you can see i am adding more coconut milk right so like i said basically i use almost four cups of coconut milk so now i am adding one teaspoon vanilla flavoring four teaspoons of melted margarine if you will be following this recipe you can use butter instead you can also use vanilla extract instead of the vanilla flavoring but to give it a real jamaican taste it's best you use vanilla flavoring and that is a splash of white rum and of course a splash of brandy brandy is in our jamaican original authentic bread pudding so I'm going to give it a good stir now. As you can see, the mixture is okay. And I'm pouring it into two greased disposable loaf pan. And I'm going to bake the bread pudding at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for like 50 minutes or until done. And if you notice, no raisin is added because no raisins is in the Jamaican traditional bread pudding no raisins whatsoever so this is it our jamaican original authentic bread pudding yeah man so it is still hot but i am gonna cut it and of course you don't know say in jamaica we eat our bread pudding cold so i am gonna allow it to cool completely and then put it into the fridge not in the freezer in the fridge yeah man so this is it this is the jamaican original traditional bread pudding and this is a dying recipe as well a lot of people don't know this they don't know this virgin man yes this is our bread pudding all right so now i'm gonna bake bread pudding all right, so I'm using stale bread. This bread expired from the 27th of December, 2021. And I baked the bread pudding on the 10th of January, 2022. So as you can see, the bread is very stale. Yeah, man. So now I am removing the brown part. What do you call it? The cross? Yeah, something like that. So I am removing it. And then I'm going to cut the bread slices into, into chunks. And then I'm going to put it into a food processor. 
because I want it to be similar to breadcrumbs. Yeah, man. So I pour two cups of coconut milk into the container. Then I'm gonna add granulated sugar. I'm gonna sweeten it and taste it to see if it's sweet enough to suit my taste. So I'm not gonna give the measurement of the sugar. If you will be following this recipe, just sweeten it and um, until it suits your taste. And bread, bread pudding, in my opinion, should not be overly sweet. So in this container, I have three eggs that I am mixing. I remove the eyes. So I'm going to mix it and then add it to the, um, to the coconut milk. I am adding a splash of overproof white rum and 4 teaspoons of melted margarine. I am adding a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring and of course, mixed spice. I transfer the liquid into a bigger container. So now I'm going to add the breadcrumbs. And I'm going to ensure that the breadcrumbs soaked up the liquid. So now I am adding the raisins. I am not adding a lot of raisins. And then I'm going to pour the mixture into a grease disposable baking pan. I'm going to bake in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for like 50 minutes or until done. The bread pudding is out of the oven. And I am going to cut it before it is cool completely just to show you people. Yeah, man, because I need the natural light and it was getting late in the evening. So I decided to cut it while it was still hot. So I am going to let it cool completely and then put it in the fridge because as I mentioned before, I eat, I only eat the bread pudding when it is cold. It must be cold. So, yeah man, this is it. This is not the traditional Jamaican bread pudding. But if you like this bread pudding, you can try it. If you like this version, I should say you should. You can try it. This bread pudding is very moist and very nice. So if you like your bread pudding moist and nice, this recipe is for you. Thanks for watching.